Hello friends, good to join back in tonight and, uh, for evening service and glad to have you, uh, ask that you pray and uh, I understand we're going to be getting some uh, pretty rough storms tonight so uh, do, do be much in prayer for everyone and uh, we certainly pray that you're okay and uh, stay safe and before we get started, we're going to sing an old song here, and if you want to sing along with me, you're just more than welcome to. Uh, good thing about this, it don't matter if you can sing or not, you just go ahead and sing to the top of your voice, top of your lungs, loud as you can. Amen. Brethren, we have met to worship and adore the Lord our God. Will you pray with all your power while we try to preach the word? All is vain unless the Spirit of the Holy One comes down. Brethren, pray and holy manna will be showered all around. Brethren, see poor sinners round you trembling on the brink of woe. Death is coming, hell is moving, can you bear to let them go? See our fathers, see our mothers, and our children sinking down. Brethren, pray, and holy manna will be showered all around sisters will you join and help us moses sisters aided him will you help the trembling mourners who are struggling hard with sin Tell them all about the Savior. Tell them that he will be found. Sisters, pray and holy manna will be showered all around. Let us love our God supremely. Let us love each other too. Let us love and pray for sinners till our God makes all things new. Then he'll call us home to heaven. At his table we'll sit down. Christ will gird himself and serve us with sweet manna all around. Certainly want to uh, say that we love that old song and thank God for the old uh, hymns. Uh, um, I certainly like those and, and uh, uh, enjoy them. And if you have your Bibles tonight or this evening and like to turn with us, turn to the book of Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. Uh, I want to read uh, a few verses, uh, quite a few. Uh, so just get your Bibles. I'll give you a chance to get you. Uh, find your place and while you're finding your place in Luke chapter 24 we do want to uh, uh, reiterate that we pray for one another and remember each other in prayer especially storms coming up and uh, sickness all around us and uh, we're living in a time that's uh, uh, kind of uh, iffy and rough for a lot of people and 
we certainly want you to uh, remember each other in prayer and lift each other up. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're going through. You don't know what I'm going through. And sometimes we uh, we think that because uh, someone has a smile on their face, everything's just uh, a okay, and uh, that's not always the circumstance. And, uh, so it's important that we pray for one another, especially when God lays someone on your heart. Uh, I woke up about three o'clock last night and I uh, laid there and I prayed and uh, just began to uh, just envision everyone in the church and uh, just kind of went through the whole church praying for each and every one of you. And, and uh, you know, I, I believe that, uh, you know, when God lays somebody on your heart, He does that for a reason. And, and uh, I, I believe that uh, God knows what we need, and and uh, He knows when when we're needing something special. And I thank God that He's given us uh, people that will uh, stop and take out time to pray for us and pray for one another. So do be praying for each other and uh, lifting one another up in prayer. You, you still have your prayer partners. Today was supposed to have been our prior breakfast. We were going to incorporate that in with our uh, sunrise service. And uh, so we didn't get to have either at church. So uh, kind of knocked our prior breakfast out of the water. Um, but uh, that's okay. You just keep praying for your prior partner. Uh, I'm sure they, they won't uh, refuse your prayers for a while longer. Amen. Trust you found your place in the book of Luke, chapter 24. We want to begin reading with verse 13. Luke, chapter 24. We want to begin reading with verse 13. It says, And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, about three score furlongs. And they talked among them together, they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together in reason, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleophas, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass in these in, there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed in word before God and all the people, and how the chief priest and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel, and besides all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us uh, made us astonished which were early at the uh, sepulchre and when they found not his body they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive and certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the women had said but him they saw not then he said unto them O fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them and all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village where whether they went, and he made 
as though he would have gone further, but they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it, and break and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And he said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank the Lord for this privilege and honor in which we come before you. We ask you, Father, to bless the reading of thy word. We ask you, Father, that you would touch our hearts. Lord, that you'd speak to us, Father, as we uh, come to thee. Lord, that you'd give us unction from on high liberty. Lord, that you'd give us vocabulary. Lord, that you'd just uh, open up the hearts that we might receive thy word. God, help us to understand. Lord, we pray and receive. Not only that, but God, that we put it to use in our hearts and our lives that we might be vessels of honor for you. Lord, I pray, God, again, Lord, if there's one Lord out there that hears uh, and under the sound of my voice, Lord, that does not know thee in a free pardon of sin, that this will be the day that make their peace calm and election sure. God, we just pray, Lord, that you bless our people. Lord, that you bless our loved ones. God, that uh, you bless the church. Lord, we pray that you have your way in our hearts and lives. Help us, God, that we might realize and understand. God, help us to know, Father, what it is, Lord, that we celebrate today. Help us, God, that we might fully understand, Lord, thy word, Lord, in the way that you'd see it fit for us to understand. Lord, we praise you, we thank you, and all of these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want us to look just for a little while at the scripture and notice uh, uh, as they walked with Jesus uh, that there's a few things that, uh, you know, that we want to look at and kind of uh, pick out but uh, here they, these were told they were witness to uh, they were prophesied to they were uh, uh, preached to and uh, they were taught uh, not only by Jesus himself uh, but but they had the other uh, teachings and, uh, and other people had uh, taught this but uh, we find that they had already been told about the whole story of Jesus and how that he would come and how that uh, this would take place. And uh, they were uh, living this word as it was unfolding, yet they didn't understand it. Uh, they Even whenever they said here, they were talking to him and and they said that he was a uh, was a prophet, mighty indeed. And you know, and as I said this morning, so many uh, looked at him as just a prophet. And uh, I, I think that's one reason they didn't really fully understand that uh, Jesus wasn't only a prophet, but he was King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And uh, you know, uh, he wasn't just uh, uh, another prophet; he was the Messiah. And we we see here uh, as we read the word that uh, there's uh, a lack of understanding among the people and and we see as they were taught all of this and when it began to take place they were just at like I can't believe what's happening. We thought that this was Him. We thought that He was the Messiah. We thought that He was the one that was going to deliver Israel. We thought that He was the one uh, that was going to save us. And now here they are. Uh, they took Him. They they crucified Him. And and now they say He's risen again, but we can't find Him. So, uh, you know, uh, we just don't know. And uh, uh, we, we look at this and we say... I can't believe that these people walked with God or walked with Jesus and they heard all of this stuff. They were taught all of this stuff. They were told it and now they don't understand. Well, friend, 
Look at today. Look at you and I. Uh, you know, so many people say, well, if I'd have been there whenever that, uh, God parted the, uh, the Red Sea and, and allowed them people to walk over on dry ground, I would have never doubted them again. Well, I'm afraid that you'd have been just like those people when you got over there and got hungry, you'd have doubted them again. You'd have been wanting something to eat. And, and when he fed them, he, they doubted him again. You know, uh, I'm afraid that we're a people that uh, that needs uh, to be reaffirmed all the time. Uh, uh, you know, the thing about it is, is Jesus has done enough for you and I if He never done another thing for you and I. Never, nothing else. He's already done more for us than we ever deserved. Well, uh, he has already done enough in our lives to where we ought to serve him and worship him and follow him the rest of our lives, whether he's done anything else or not. Yet, uh, I'm afraid that if he didn't do anything else, then we'd fall to the wayside, much like a lot of other uh, people have and and will and. Uh, but we see here as they walked with him and they were talking with him and. And they were telling him all this stuff. Uh, you know, I, I want you just to think. They walked with Jesus. They talked with Jesus. They ate with Jesus. I, I, I'm not talking about with Abraham or Isaac or, or Jacob or David or, or some of them. I'm talking about with the Son of God. They walked with Him. They talked with Him. They ate with Him. Yet they didn't understand him. They didn't realize him. But when Jesus revealed himself to them, their eyes were open and it became real. You know, and, and that's the thought I have tonight. Is this for real? You know, do we see it as for real? Uh, it, it, do we understand it as being for real? Or is it something that uh, is just happening or taking place and, and one day it, it's going to uh, change or or uh, it, it's going to be something else? But I want to tell you something other. It's for real. The thing is, is uh, they walked with Jesus. They talked with Jesus. They ate with Jesus. Yet it just wasn't that real in their lives yet and you say well uh, well some of them it was yes some of them but look at all the people and, and, and that that encountered him Judas kissed his face and it wasn't real it wasn't real to him uh, I, I, I wonder how close you and I need to get to Jesus before we realize He's real. I, I want us to look that whenever that uh, the you know that Jesus opened their eyes and they saw Him and it said then he, he disappeared out of their sight. He vanished out of their sight. But whenever that He opened their eyes, uh, He was real in their eyes then. Uh, their vision became real. They could see something that was real. Something that they knew was real. And, and, and you know, uh, the thing about it is, as I was preaching this morning, we have to know uh, who it is that we're preaching about. Uh, we have to know Him. And, and if He's not real in our vision, in our in our uh, earthly vision, if we can't see uh, Jesus in, uh, in, in the things around you and I, if we can't see Him what Working in people's lives, if we can't see him uh, working in in uh, in and about us, you know the Bible uh, says that where there's no vision, people perish, and and, and you know uh, we have to be able to see him. We have got to see him, and he's got to be real in our vision this uh, this evening. Not only was he real in their uh, in their eyes, but he was real in their minds. Now uh, they were. Th 
thinking totally different now. Uh, their minds had already, uh, no doubt, began to uh, transform and take on a different uh, thought uh, pattern. And uh, no doubt they began to think back uh, uh, instantly and, and they realized all of a sudden, hey, uh, this this guy is for real, you know. Uh, this is the son. Not only uh, was he a prophet that was mighty and no, not only was he the one we thought uh, was going to do this, but he actually is. Not only was he real in their eyes and in their minds, but he became real in their hearts. Oh, I'm telling you what, the Bible said there, he said, did not our heart burn with the, within us as we talked with us, as he talked with us by the way? He became real in their hearts. I'm telling you, uh, you know, uh, as they begin to think about this and uh, begin to converse back and forth, and and they said, "Did he not burn? Did it not burn? Did our hearts not burn inside of us?" And uh, there's a difference when Jesus becomes real to you and I. There's a change that takes place, and uh, there's a difference in there uh, that makes God uh, burn in our hearts. We have a burning desire uh, to walk with. Him, to talk with Him, uh, to see things happen, uh, to see lost people saved. Not only was He real in their eyes and in their minds and their hearts, but He became real in their mouth, in their talk. And uh, as they began to talk, uh, uh, they began to talk with confidence and they began to talk uh, with knowledge and, and their walk no doubt changed. And uh, they walked upright and differently because they knew this thing was right and it was real now. And when He reveals Himself to you and I, it'll change us. It'll change your sight. It'll change your mind. It'll change your heart. It'll change your talk and it'll change your walk. My friend, it'll change you. My question to you is, is when is the last time your heart burned inside you? When's the last time that your heart burned within you? When's the last time that you had a burning desire to see someone saved? Uh, to see someone born again. When's the last time you had a burning desire uh, to go and just worship uh, the Lord? Uh, when's the last time that you had a burning desire uh, just to get somewhere and to pray and uh, to lift up uh, His holy name? When's the last time that you had a burning desire uh, just to be with Jesus? You know, uh, the thing about it is, is uh, I believe that we've uh, we've slipped into a error in time and I believe uh, you know that uh, amidst all of this uh, pandemic and all this nonsense that's going on right now if you and I will just seek God that uh, we'll uh, not see a great falling away we'll not see a, a great turmoil uh, but my friend we'll see a great awakening we'll see a great revival if we'll just look to Him because friend I believe we, begin, we need to begin to pray and we need to begin to seek his face and draw closer to him uh, that whenever we uh, get that burning desire down in us and we get that vision of a lost person dying and going to hell and, and we get that burning desire to see them saved, see them born again, uh, see them come to the Lord and, and when that begins to burn inside you and I we can see things begin to happen. You know, I, I, I'm afraid we, we've got to the point that uh, I, I'm, I'm afraid that church has become something that we go to because it's Sunday. Uh, we go because it's Sunday morning. That's what we do on Sunday morning. We go because it's Sunday night. That's what we do on Sunday night. Uh, we do that because it's Wednesday night. That's what we do on Wednesday night. Uh, you know, we go because, hey, I teach a Sunday school class. i got to go. Hey, I'm the preacher. I've got to be there. They expect me to be there. Hey, I've always went to church so I've got to go hey if I didn't go to church my mom and dad uh, would whoop me I don't care how old I am uh, they, they, they would come in and tan my hide. if I didn't go to church people would talk about me if I didn't go to church people think something was wrong if I didn't go to church uh, it, you know all this other stuff would come about my friend if that's the reason you're going you're going for the wrong reason we need to go to church to worship the Lord we need to go to glorify Him him to lift up his uh, matchless name that uh, he may be exalted above and beyond all that uh, we could ever know. We need to go to church for Jesus. 
We need to go for Him today. When's the last time that He burned inside you? When's the last time that you went to the house of God and you had a burning desire to go back? When's the last time that you couldn't wait to get back into the house of God just to see what He was going to do this time? Oh, I'm going to tell you. When we get to the point where we say, well, I can't wait to church. I just want to see what God's going to do this time. I want to see what He is, what He's got in store this time. When we get that desire, we get to look and to see. And we get yearnings inside of us to be in the house of God and to glorify Him. Then we'll see things begin to change. It's important that you and I realize that. We have that burning inside of us. My friend, today I, I want to encourage you that if you don't have that burning inside of you, that you'll seek the Lord and you'll pray. and You'll ask Him, God, would you please put that back inside? Will you please put that burning within me? God, that I might be a vessel of honor and that for you. It's, it's not important that that I'm what everybody else wants. It's not important that uh, I do the things everybody else wants done. But it's important that we satisfy Christ and we do what He'd have us to do. And when we do that, we'll get that burning inside. And friend, I want to tell you something, other. I've heard people get up and they say, I, I, I don't want to interrupt and I don't mean to interrupt, but the Lord has just spoke to me and I have got to testify. And boy, I tell you what, whenever they begin to testify, and, and boy, the tears begin to roll down their cheeks, and they begin to weep and, and cry, and, 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 and give their testimony, and, and friend, and then the Spirit begins to flow from breast to breast, and, and it begins to minister to you, and, and you can feel the Holy Spirit just going through the house. My friend, that right there is what we need to be looking for. We need to find that burning once again inside us because there's a world that's lost and on their way to hell without Jesus. And they're depending upon you and I. My friend, let me encourage you today to seek Him. We want to thank you for uh, tuning in once again. We thank you for your prayers and your attention. Uh, we ask that uh, you continue praying. And uh, it, It's not storming here right now, but uh, I understand it's going to later. So we'll be praying for you. You pray for us. Uh, Lord willing, we'll be uh, back in here Wednesday evening to uh, do our uh, Bible study. And uh, I want to encourage you to be working on that. And, uh, be filling out your books and and going over your questions. I, I'm not going to test you on it, but uh, when you go looking for those questions and answering those questions, it helps you to retain it, to remember it, and maybe help you, maybe help to explain it to you more and and uh, encourage you. We we thank you. We appreciate you. We just pray tonight that you're safe. And uh, let us dismiss tonight in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Father, for your blessings. God, we thank you, Father, for that burning in our heart. God, that, that burning, Lord, that uh, lets us know, Father, uh, that you're real. And Father, that brings realization to a lot of things and God, I'm not saying that uh, uh, salvation is a, a feel thing. It's a no-so thing. But Father, I'd hate to have something so big as you and not ever be able to feel it. God, we know without a shadow of a doubt, Lord, that you're able to move us. And Father, we just pray, God, that you'd speak to the hearts. Help us, Lord, that we can be a people, Lord, that will honor you, Lord, in the way that will be pleasing unto you. God, I pray that the first one that's under the sound of our voice, God, that don't know you and free pardon of sin, Lord, I pray, Father, that they'll come to you tonight, Lord. Father, speak to their heart. Have mercy on them. Convict them, Father, we pray. We pray, Lord, that you just touch, Lord, a mighty way. Pray, God, if there's one broken or 
uh, down and out, whatever it may be, God, that we've been an inspiration or a help or encouragement in some way. Lord, we pray that your will be done. We praise you. We thank you, Father. And all these things we ask in Jesus' name. We ask you, Father, to keep our people safe, we pray. And amen. And amen. Certainly do thank you for uh, tuning back in. And, and we appreciate you. Like I said, do remember one another in prayer. And uh, share this with people. As I said before, share it with all your friends on Facebook. And invite them to uh, tune in and and. If they don't get but just a few minutes of it, maybe they'll get exactly what it is that uh, they need. And uh, we appreciate you, and uh, you know what we add if you need us, you just give us a holler. We appreciate you, and you have a, a blessed night. Good night.